Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you the best way how to use the large data set of CSV file having millions of rows in a file. So don't skip anywhere in the video because if you missed anything, you will lose it completely. Now, just before go into the video, we are very close to the 10k subscribers. So request you to if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure you have hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon also for the future videos. Now without taking more time, let's jump into the video. So this is the sample file and it has uh, one lakh of rows you can see here, right? And it has around, let's see how many columns we have. So it has 16 columns and various of the columns. So we have almost object columns, right? So it has integer or you can say the float columns, I think so. So I don't think we have float, uh, float columns, right? So we are going to process this file and let's see how much time it will take and how we are going to improve the process of this file around of uh, uh, one lakh of rows, right? So this is the PyCharm and to process this file, we are going to use Pandas module, of course. So to install Pandas module, I hope you guys, you all guys knows how to install the Pandas module. If you don't know, let me just show you. You just uh, need to go to your interpreter, just go to uh, interpreter settings and you just need to go over here this add icon go over here just search for it pandas module select it it is uh, showing as blue because it is already installed just select it and hit on install package or you can go either on your command prompt or terminal so here you can write let me just make it bigger okay so here you can type pip install pandas uh, spelling mistake right like this okay so why it is not coming as bigger i'm not getting it okay so you can just uh okay so let me just show you on pycharm so like this this is the command and hit enter okay and uh, yes and you can even type on your terminal also this uh, pycharm terminal here also you can type it here pip install pandas and hit enter and yes these are the uh, ways uh, how you can install the pandas module on your pc or mac right now here i am going to import pandas and i am going to give as alias pandas as pd Right, so to read the CSV file, uh, I need to have used this uh, method read CSV. So here I need to put the name sample dot CSV and I'm going to save it in TF because this read CSV will return the data frame object. And if you want to see, so print here df dot info. So by using this info method, we will get all the info about this data frame. So I'm going to run this and let's see what are the details we are going to have. Okay. So yes, so here you can see that this is the data frame object as I told you, and we have one lakh of rows from zero to uh, this five times nine. And yes, of course we have total 16 columns and uh, this is the int 64 type which is non null column so these are the details uh, related to the columns and uh, uh, this is the count which is 47369 counts are non null uh, uh, except this uh, other are null and you can see here all are null and uh, eight columns are float yes we have columns which are float and three are int 64 data type five are object data type and total memory used by this file is more than 12 MB, right? And I'm not sure about what is this none. So we can ignore it for now, right? So total memory is used is this more than 12 MB. And here uh, we are getting this warning that uh, D type, which is data type, we have uh, six, seven have mixed uh, data types, right? So specified D type option 
on import are or set low memory false. So we have two options. Either we can set low memory as false or we can set the D type option uh, while reading this file, right? So if I'll set this, let's see what will happen. So we can do it later also. This is also the option while optimizing our uh, uh, these uh, CSV operations. Let's see what will happen. So nothing is happened. Again, we are having the same uh, usage of memory. So we can ignore it for now. So the so but that uh, our warning has removed. So yes. And let's see how much time it is taking or you can see if I'll have the loop. Okay, so we can ignore that loop or reading the CSV file. Of course, it will take so much of time uh, while reading this uh, one lakh of rows. So I'm not going to use that, right? So what is the first way or what is the first best way to use or to read a CSV file like this, the huge file, right? So first thing you should use the chunking, right? So instead of reading the whole file at once, you should use the chunk or read the uh, large CSV file into bits, right? Like you can read your file in bits in hundred of the uh, chunks or thousand of the chunks, right? So how you can do that? So uh, pandas having that facility or the parameter you need to pass, which is chunk size, right? So let me show you that. So I am going to Okay, so what is the memory size? Okay, so this is the memory size which we were using earlier. So here what I am going to use. So let me just copy and paste it here again, right? And I'm going to comment this. Now, as I told you, we have a parameter here, chunk size and here I'm going to give this thousand now instead of reading uh, one lakhs of rows at once i'm going to read thousand of rows right and now instead of returning this uh, data frame object earlier it was returning data frame object now it will return text reader object here instead of data frame object so what i'm going to do here i'm going to just changing the name here chunks and here I am going to loop it in chunks and here I need to convert that text data reader uh, into data frame and here uh, pd dot data frame chunks and now here I will print the data frame info and what I am going to do here I will just break it out just to show you how much uh memory size now it will take to read a single data frame right so i'm just going to debug so that you will get the better idea how this code flow is working and how much memory size for a single data frame is consumed so yes okay yes so now here if you see now we have text file reader right so instead of now here data frame, now we are getting text file reader object, right? So now here I'll have the this data frame here, right? It is converted into data frame. I have printed that. So now here earlier it was taking 12 MB because earlier we were reading one lakh of rows at once but now we are reading just thousand of rows and it is taking only 125 kb of data that's it right and if you will see here now we are just having thousand of rows which is from 0 to 999 which comes to 1000 of rows and it will break down right now if i'll remove this and if we if you will see here and i'm going to run this so yes and if here this is 0 to 999 and now again it will start from 1000 
here you can see now it comes to 1000 to 1999 so you can see it is continuously going from where it ends previously right so it will go till one lakh of rows and it will process the data and it is taking the same memory or so uh, or little bit more uh, depending upon the data on 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 that data set of thousand of rows you can just increase the this chunk size also 10,000 of rows so if you want to see how much of memory size it will going to take you you can see it it is taking one mb so instead of taking of 12 mb of size now it is taking of 1 mb of size right so it means 11 mb of size or 10 mb of size is still there to used by other applications right so this is the one way how you can optimize your application or script to use large data set of the files right so this is the one thing now we have another thing instead of like here we are reading all these 16 columns from our csv file here you can see we are reading all these 16 columns from our csv file but we have so many of cases or we have maximum of cases where we don't require to read all these 16 columns right 99.9 percent .9 of cases we have these kind of scenarios where we don't require 16 all the uh, available columns from the csv file so we always create the data set only for those columns which we actually require right so how you can do that so for that let me just again comment this and if i'll have this 10000 of chunk and it is taking this size of memory and i'm just going to copy this paste it here now i am going to we have use oh, sorry use column right and here you need to pass the column names here which you need to use right so we have so many of different columns so like i am going to use here product id and uh, let me see product name i am going to use okay then i am going to use what i should use uh this one i am going to use okay and let's see m5 i am going to use so you can use as many as column which are available right so now instead of using all the 16 columns i am going to use these four columns right now let's see how much memory usage are this code will take uh, and having the same chunk size right so i'm going to break it let's see okay expected okay 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 so some spelling mistake yeah here yeah run it here you can see now instead of taking 1 mb of memory usage it is taking only 1312 kb of memory usage so earlier while using these 16 columns it was taking 1 mb of memory but now while when we are using only the four columns or five columns it is just taking the 1300 of kb of memory usage so here you can see it is clearly saying the when you are using the actual number of columns which you are really need to use it is automatically decrease your memory usage of your server and give you the best usage of your application or your server right now the last thing which we have left that is the object type or you can say the d type or the data type of the columns so when you are reading the csv file we have defined the chunk sizes number of columns which you need to actually want to use now you need to define the data type of the columns now how you can do that let me show you that also so i'm going to okay so let me just copy and paste it here 
and uh, with this uh, with this also comment this yeah okay and uh, like this this yeah so we have a parameter d type and this will be as dictionary and these are the columns which we are going to use and here you need to pass the data type of these columns so here you can see data type are already uh, defined by default but you can change it already right so if you feel that this product id should not be as integer it should be as object because uh, different data type are taking different memory on the server so you can change it accordingly as per your need right so if i'll change it all the as object so okay uh, here object uh, what is happening object here here also here also and here also right so let me run this and let's see what will happen okay so everything looks fine this is also fine this is also fine v12 was the memory size okay okay yeah okay let me run this and let's see okay yes now here you can see earlier it was integer but now it is showing as object because i have changed this right and if i'll make this product name as int 64 let's see what will happen i'll show you okay so this and this let's see so yes of course we are getting error because in product name we have string instead of integer right so that is why we are getting this error so this is the thing which i wanted to show you uh, right so let me run this again so that we will not get any error yeah so these are the three tips to use your large data set by using the pandas if you are using three tips your panda operation will be as much as your data needs to be done so guys i hope you are going to implement all the three tips in your pandas operation or large data sets so if you really like this video please don't forget to like this video and as i told you earlier also we are very close to 10000 subscriber so don't go away before hitting the subscribe button and press the bell icon also for more interesting video and please comment down in the comment section if you have any question related to this video i'll always try to help you guys as soon as possible you can join me on telegram and whatsapp group also so see you in my next video till then thank you for watching jai hind